All right, welcome to the channel, and today we'll be talking about the Fio SP3 bookshelf or desktop, uh, probably more desktop, desktop speaker, uh, self-powered, all that fun stuff, speakers here. And right now I'm just kind of highlighting how you can literally put these anywhere as long as you have power and some kind of source. Right now I'm playing it off of the, uh, or plugged into my uh, Switch, playing some Mario Wonder, but I was actually also playing with the Zune HD that I have because <laughs> I randomly found this whole thing and was like, let's see if it works. And so I plugged it in and was listening to some more music from back in the day. But, uh, and it worked, worked brilliantly actually. So these lovely little uh, desktop speakers were sent out by Appos Audio. They are on demo. They are not asking me to say or do anything other than my honest opinion regarding these little desktop speakers. And they're pretty small. So let's dive right into the build of these. The build is solid. It's cast uh, aluminum, I believe. It's uh, it's metal. It's They're heavy. They got some heft to them. And uh, I really dig the overall... Um, polish and quality of them it's they're super heavy they're solid they're not going to move around i will say though you do need to have the base because this this base here is just plastic so you need to use either this elevated one that they have or they have a flat one and that just kind of they just rest right on there and just pop right on and sits but uh yeah so the build as far as that like these don't you know they don't stick they just pop on and or rest on top of these but the build is very good they're good it's solid and I, i'm really digging on it the uh woofer here is carbon fiber which is nice and uh the tweeter has a nice protection some metal oh, cover the face here it's a metal protective uh, dome there and yeah overall it's a solid little little speaker and one of the things that i was kind of finding intriguing with them is the fact that if you pair them with say the Fio R7 or the upcoming R9 or what have you, this little standalone, or even just if you have like a dongle or what have you, you could basically, as long as you have a power <laughs> source to plug into and Wi-Fi or uh, downloaded music, you can put these anywhere. Uh, everything's self-contained inside as long as you just plug them into something and have power going, that's they're good to go. So that's pretty, pretty cool. Um, diving into the sound of these. These things go, man. Like they, they really, I was, I was pleasantly surprised. I wasn't expecting too much, to be honest. I'm impressed so far, as far as the use case of like that near field, just quick, dirty, get going, listening to music. The, one of the things about the sound for me is everything's controlled on the back of the, the right speaker here. And if you'll notice, you'll have the volume and, and bass. This one's the bass one. And I have bass cranked all the way to max. And so far, that's just been what I personally like. I guess I'm a bass head. Uh, I won't deny that. Uh, the overall tuning, when I have it on that bass, it does give it a little more of that engagement, especially in near field. And surprisingly, these kick out some, some good bass. Like, you're not going to feel it. I mean, obviously, it's this little tiny woofer down here. But it, it works, and you can hear it. You can hear the bass. You can hear the, the oomph behind it, and it gives it a nice signature. I'm really impressed by that. And then the mids are they're okay. They're not like anything super lush or anything like that. And the highs, I never had any sibilance or any highs like come in that weren't a part of like the music kind of thing. They were well maintained. Well, well maintained. <laughs> they were very very nicely uh, done. I guess the sound signature. Basically, they. <laughs> I don't really have anything bad to say about them other than the fact that could you have more, you know, bass, more, more sound volume, I guess. Yeah. But you're also this tiny little setup that can go anywhere and they just honestly just kind of work. And for the price point, I mean, and the look of them, I think you can get them in white too, maybe, but like the, they just, they look nice on the desk. Uh, they're built really, really well and they sound really good enough honestly as far as like that near field desktop setup and for like just putzing about and putting them around on different sources you can really get some solid uh solid listening in and it's really cool i dig on that so the sound is just i'd say like right there it's like it's a it's a good to great not uh exceptional or anything like that but good to great but for its use case it is probably pretty great so but overall it's like a good to great and into kind of who I think these are for. I personally believe that this would be more for like, I could see 
I don't know, if you wanted to like have a separate little desk setup where you needed some some little speakers for editing or listening to music or playing some games, uh, maybe like a, a college kid in a college dorm um, kind of deal, these would be great for that. Um, small apartments with, you know, we don't have too much volume of noise coming out, but you want to have some, that this is, these would be pretty good for that kind of scenario. Maybe like a home gym or, you know, or you like a kitchen, you want something just you can plug in, listen to music while in the kitchen or podcasts or videos or, you know, or if you have like a, a small little TV you want to play or want to play like movies through that kind of thing, I think that would be a, a decent way to use these as well. Yeah, they're definitely not going to be replacing any you know, like big home theater or proper stereo setups, but as far as like a desktop scenario, small room, small space, and like we're just kind of putzing about your house or apartment or condo or dorm room or what have you, I think these would be pretty hard to beat to be honest especially for the price point um, I think if you bought these with the uh, Fio R7 it comes in just under a thousand bucks which I mean that's still pricey but it's like I mean you get a full setup and you get a streaming little amp DAC all-in-one type deal that kind of that looks really nice and matches these quite well so I mean that's a pretty good <laughs> setup right there that has you know, headphone outs for your headphones and what have you, as well as being able to control these without having to reach back to, to volume them and everything. So, yeah, I think that would be a killer little little setup for, like, your desktop if you weren't, like, you know, way deep into the rabbit hole and just wanted something that, that works and sounds good, you know? So, yeah, that's my general thought process on the Fio SP3 speakers. They're they're pretty, pretty dope, actually. So, yeah, I guess uh, with that, final thoughts are... Definitely worth grabbing if it's something that fits into your realm of what you need. Uh, put them on your desk for gaming, for quick music listening, or if you have like kids going to college, that kind of thing, and you want them to, and they want like a nice little setup that works, this would do it. You can even plug these right into, um, like you can swap out the switch this to going to input and then goes RCA out and you can plug these right into like a, a turntable and you have a little nice little analog uh, vinyl setup right there. It's just easy. So. Anyhow, that's my final final thoughts. These things are pretty pretty dope. I'm I'm digging on them. So yeah, on that I guess uh, definitely a recommendation for me. I think these are cool, and they just work and they're good. <laughs> so on that, I'll let everyone have the rest of their uh, morning, afternoon, evening back. All right? Cheers.